this is an equation in v it's a linear equation it's it has v to the one and it's a linear equation that involves fractions so there are different techniques that you can use in order to solve uh, linear equations involving fractions i'll show you one method which is easy to work with and the first thing that you do is look at all the denominators so 4 5 4 5 10 and 2 so let's think about what the LCM of these four numbers is so what is the least common multiple so if you look at 2 2 cannot be a multiple of 10 because 10 times something would have to equal 2 so 2 is not a possibility this is like a trial and error method there are other ways of doing this but I'm just using the trial and error method because the numbers are small enough if it's 4 yes 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 is a multiple of 2 4 is a multiple of 4 itself because 4 times 1 is 4 but 5 times what equals 4 that's not going to work ne next let's think about um, 20 10 doesn't work obviously because 4 doesn't go into 10 uh, so if it's 20 2 times 10 is 20 10 times 2 is 20 so we're done with 2 10 next is 5 5 times what is 20 it's 5 times 4 is 20 so that works and then 4 times what equals 20 what we fill in this blank with is a 5 so 4 times 5 is 20 so 20 can be taken as the least common multiple of the four numbers so this is what we do next so v over 4 and I'm just going to space this out so that way there's enough room to work okay so now we take and we write each fraction so that way the denominator is 20 so we take the least common multiple of 20 so how does that work 4 times what is equal to 20 it's 4 times 5 equals 20 so we multiply and divide with 5 so if we divide by 5 we also have to multiply by 5 because 5 over 5 equals 1 now 5 has to become 20 because we want the least common denominator or least common multiple of 20 to be the common denominator so 5 times 4 is 20 so we do the same thing to the numerator 10 times what equals 20 we do the exact same thing to the numerator so 10 times 2 is 20 v times 2 Whatever you multiply the denominator with, do the exact same thing with the numerator. 2 times 10 is 20. Do the exact same thing to the numerator. So we have 5v over 20 minus 8 over 20. So I'm combining all the terms. v times 2 is 2v over 20 plus 10 over 2 times 10 20 so now we have a common denominator so we can write it as 5 v minus 8 over 20 equals 2 v plus 10 over 20 now we can multiply both sides with 20 So what that does is cancels 20 out on both sides on, on both sides of the equation. So as long as we multiply both sides by 20, we are good. The equation still works. It hasn't changed. And we cancel the 20s. Now we are left with 5v minus 8 is equal to 
2v plus 10. So now we solve for v. We get v by itself on one side, which means we subtract 2v on the right and on the left because we're trying to get rid of the v term on the right. So 2v minus 2v is 0 plus 10. And on the left, we have 5v minus 2v is 3v minus 8. So 3v minus 8 is equal to 0 plus 10. Now we're trying to solve for v, get v by itself. So first we get rid of the 8. So we add 8. on both sides. So when we add 8 on both sides, we get 3v plus 0 is equal to 8 plus 10, which is the same as 3v plus 0 is equal to 18. 3v plus 0 is 3v equals 18. We get rid of the 3 because it's multiplied to v. The only way to get rid of it is by dividing with 3 on both sides. What we do on the left, we have to do on the right. So the 3s get cancelled. 3 goes 6 times into 18. So 18 over 3. 3 times 6 is 18. The 3 and the 3 get cancelled and we are left with a 6. So V is equal to 6.